seven days of top-class snooker at the Centaur Arena Cheltenham boiled down to this. Scotland's Graham Dot against the Thunder from Down Under. Neil Robertson for Coral World Grand Prix glory and a £100,000 first prize. A packed crowd were there to see this repeat of the 2010 World Championship final won by Robertson. This time though, the early rolls went in favour of Dot, who recovered from the loss of the opening frame to lead 2-1. That said, Robertson's response could hardly have been more emphatic. Having slotted in such a sweet red from distance, Robertson fashioned a 127 total clearance to draw level. And stayed in command building additional breaks of 47, 110 and 58. Precise cue ball control or what? At that stage, Dot looked in trouble, but he stoically stole the closing frame of the afternoon to remain in touch at 5-3. Even so, Robertson was halfway to victory. On the restart, Robertson was soon back in the scoring groove, this time clearing up with 107 to restore his two-frame cushion at 6-4. And yet, the ever-feisty Dot kept on his rival's coattails. Mind you, from 6-5 to 9-5, Robertson was imperious, outscoring Dot 313-1 and constructing two more centuries, including the highest break of the tournament, a majestic 142 total clearance. That's 699 tons for his career, and at that stage, an 18th world ranking title looked nigh uncertain. Then though, mistakes crept in, pressure intensified, and Dot refused to accept defeat. Having needed two snookers at his lowest ebb in frame 17, he had the black to somehow keep the contest alive. Remarkably, that was the great frame robbery. From being dead and buried, Dot was suddenly buzzing. But first prize loot went to Robertson, thanks to winning a scrappy, nervy 18th in bits and pieces. The disappearance of the last red would seal the definition of a hard-fought victory at 10-8. His relief was palpable. The gallant dot had been vanquished after an almighty late night battle. Robertson's reward, the Coral World Grand Prix trophy and £100,000 as he now heads to the defence of his well-shaped crown in Cardiff. On this form, who would bet against him? <laughs>